in my back. I'm gonna find out what the hell's going on up here. Look, there's another mask, but with four eyes. Even the what looks like mushrooms on the floor look like small masks. Unless they are masks. Oh, I can enter. Uh, rest? Is it me or is that bench different? That bench is different. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Snail shaman. Let me just note his name down. Oh, Jesus. I thought I had a little uh, spider on my hand, but it was nothing. Snail. Shaman. Oh, ho. Who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face and a wicked looking weapon. I guess I do have an empty face. I don't have a mouth. Or maybe it's just closed. Something important has drawn you down into Helenest's corpse. But I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help? I mean, sure, if you've got some. Say no more, friend. I'm gonna give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Ho ho! Uh, alrighty. Cool. Oh shit! Did he trick me? Oh, maybe not. Consume the vengeful spirit. Tap circle to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete soul. Replenish soul by striking. Oh, spells? I'm into that. Uh. Oh. <gasps> he locked me! <laughs> oh ho, you've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but seemed to have slipped away myself. Ho 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 Now we're awake. I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor. Not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. Y yeah You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. <laughs> this sounds like the start of every D&D &D campaign. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's how I imagine he laughs. In fact, that reminds me a little bit of the characters from Dark Souls. They always laugh in some creepy manner. So wait. Okay, got it. I can fucking shoot a spell. Oh my god! That's nasty! He was right! Wait a minute, I'm not moving on the map. Ancestral Mound. Can I jump and... Oh, I should have jumped it higher there. Uh... Oh, oh, I don't have any more, uh, whatever that is. Soul. Oh, there are definitely skulls I'm walking on. Listen to the sound. Oh, what the fuck is that? Dude, armadillo! Totally an armadillo. I mean, wait, do armadillos roll in real life? They don't, right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. It just looks like an armadillo. Uh, How do I get up there? Oh, okay, I just hit it. Yeah, no use looking at the map. I'm getting a little too attached to that map, it seems. Why do I keep looking at it? Uh, what do we have here? So, a great beast, you say. Okay, these are easy to kill. It's not a problem. Definitely looks all shaman in here, isn't it? With all these skulls on pikes and... Fire everywhere. I don't know. It's sort of... Nope. 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 Get out of my face. Oh, shit. 
I almost fell into that trap. You see the spikes in the roof there? I totally would have jumped over it, and that's the trap they laid. I, I get it. Smart. I'm not that easy to trick, though. Just saying. Uh. Okay. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, no. What am I doing? Consume that soul. I want to try this. What? Oh, my goodness. That is just nasty. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, no. All my money is falling. Okay, quick question. Let's say I have money down here somewhere. What if I just do the old... Can I collect it that way? Ah! Oof. I didn't catch anything there, so maybe not. Maybe the money's lost when it reaches those things. Which is unfortunate. Eh, eh. Get out of my face. Top attack! I can go that way. Or I can go... Ooh. Dude, that's a big armadillo. It's like a big version of these small ones. Okay, I see now. So that is soul. I hit it when I don't have enough. And I have full right now, so it's useless. Let me just confirm that, actually. Hold on. Oh, shit. Ow! Bastard! Okay, now I consume some soul. I hit this. Yep. Oh, shit. I only needed to hit it twice. God damn it. Is it empty? No, there's more. Okay. I can uh, use some of that later if I need it. I can come back to it. Ah! Oh my god, it's rolling everywhere. I really love jumping attacking. The way you... Uh, basically, the Super Mario jump. No. No, I said. Stay there. Oh, shit. I mean, they're not actually a problem. You just spam attack and you, you got them. Oh, no. No! Shit. The money is lost. Unless I go back around. More of that goo. Hey! Hey, come back here! Yeah, it gives me two extra lives on top of what I am capable of having. Not a bad deal at all. Hold on, let me go back up here and collect that money I lost. Or not lost. I, uh, I couldn't reach it. Wait a minute. There's something up here. There's light coming from up there. It means there's an opening, no? Okay, now I'm fully equipped to fight this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. It's this guy. Oh, I get it now. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, I have no more soul. Ow! There we go. That's that's how I get past those. Now I know how to get past the... Uh, the one on the very left somewhere. There was one blocking uh, a road. Inspect. Soul catcher. Oh, it's a charm. Costs two notches. Used by shamans to draw more soul from the world around them. Increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with the nail. Bro. Sure. Uh, oh, I need a bench for that. Okay. Dude. This reminds me of... I, I keep comparing this to Dark Souls. And I, I'm actually really sorry if... If some of you haven't played Dark Souls and I keep spoiling little things. So if you don't want it spoiled, skip ahead 10 seconds. Like, it reminds me of the rings in Dark Souls. Giving you, like, special powers. These charms. It has to be inspired by that, right? Brother! Oh, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile. But the rancid air in these caverns... Filled it with some ancient rage. 
Huh. Ancient Rage. Is he also referring to all the other inhabitants down here being filled with rage? A.K.A. zombified? Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Ho <laughs> ho ho. Thanks, buddy. And look, the gate between us has opened. Oh ho. This guy is a weirdo. Oh, I get it now. He's wearing a snail uh, house on his head. Or like a, um, you know, those things you put to your ear and you can hear the ocean. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you. Oh, ho, ho. What am I seeking? Excuse me. Gwen on in, <laughs> Why do you hesitate? You'll get nothing more from me, I'm afraid. Though I do admire your persistence. Oh, ho. Give me more. Gwen on in, <laughs> Okay. You've got nothing more, huh? Who are you? And why are you helping me here, exactly? I dig your house, though. You got some sick paintings in there. Save that game. I just want to see if there's anything else here. Or did I... Was this just a small, like, obstacle course to teach me? You know what? This was probably just meant as a tutorial on how... On when that spell is useful. Obviously, that was... That's what that was. So you're just hanging out down here alone, huh? Snail shaman. Did you take up residence here after the ruin? Or before? I'm talking about the ruin of the kingdom. Actually, quite a significant temple. Look at it. I wonder if he built that. Or if he repurposed it. From something that was there earlier. And it's right next to the false guy that I killed. I wonder if they have something to do with each other. Where am I going now? Hold on. What's this way? Oh, a shortcut. Ooh, a cassette tape. I'm kidding. Actually, what is that? Is that a case with glasses in it? Anyway, sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. I already did, Cornifer. Don't you remember? Okay, why did I think there would be more text when I clicked on it again? It's a piece of paper, I think. So I'm back here now. Great! I filled out the center there. That makes me feel very uh, happy. I think to the left down there, I couldn't continue because... Ooh, what was the reason there? Let me go back. I just want to quickly see what... No, you know what? I'm going to the store with all the money I have. It would be absolutely dumb not to do that right now. I, I can't risk losing all this. This is a lot of moolah. Ah, please. Jump, 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 jump. Ish. Nice. Whoa! Avoidance course. Obstacle course here. Holy shit! Get out of my face. There. That was nice. So now I'm here almost at the city. Also, when I die, that spirit that I have to kill... I wonder if there's some kind of lore meaning behind that, or it's just a cool mechanic for recovering your soul. The souls you've collected. Or I guess it's more like the Geo you've collected. I just call it soul because, you know, I'm used to dark souls. But maybe there's an actual deep meaning behind it because they call it soul. Do creatures in this world have a soul? I mean, when I hit them, I acquire soul. So am I robbing them of soul? 
And it's that and is that what's making them filled with rage? No, they were already already filled with rage before I met them, but maybe someone else stole some of their soul. Maybe that's what separates higher beings from lower beings? How much soul they have? Hmm. Hey, Zelda. <sighs> Bye for nada. I know, right? I can't believe it either. Anyway, let's see what you got. All these pins. I guess I would like to... I guess the Stagway pins wouldn't be a bad investment here. I mean, I only discovered one of them so far. But it would be nice to know... I, I, I guess two stations I, I discovered, right? The one in Dirtmouth, but then again, I know it's in Dirtmouth, so... Let's just get it. Map updated. Perfect. Uh, let's also get the vendor pin. Shopkeepers or any other interesting bugs you find on your travels. Yeah. This is actually what I need, because I don't even remember where half the bugs are that I met. I do know Quirrell is in the Black Temple. And what was the name? Let me check. Myla? She was the one in the mines. Digging. I think I know what that is on the map, but it would be nice to have pins for all these. Hot spring pin. I don't care about that right now. But then again, I have so much money. What else am I going to use it on? Benches. That could be useful if I need to save the game. Let's do it. I also want to... You know what? I'm going to buy a scarab marker. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. Exactly. Add little pins. Let me get the red ones too. I'm using all my money here. They must be booming. Or their pockets must be booming right now. They're not used to all this business. A cocoon pin. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoon? Oh, those are the ones that give me extra HP. Beyond my capabilities there. No, I don't need that. At least not right now. Maybe later. Okay, let's get a hot spring pin. That could be nice as well if I need to... Heal. Uh... Yeah, she has nothing new to say. I am enjoying myself. You have a very curious haircut, I gotta say. You have some nice two hairs. On your head. Oh, the music in Dirtmouth is fantastic. It's like super beautiful, but also filled with sorrow. And filled with entropy, if that even makes sense. I used to think the kingdom below was all dead cold rock. But I've since been told different. Travelers speak of startling variety in Hellenest's caverns. Even just besides those crossroads, there's meant to be an area filled with leafy greenery. I think I was there. I told those same travelers about the wonderful grasses that grow around the town. They didn't seem impressed. Hmm. I mean, I think I saw a little bit of it. If he's referring to what I think he's referring to. Feeling tired? Yeah. Maybe I am feeling a bit tired. Let me take a nap. Let me just chill for a bit. And that bit was two seconds. Because that is the power nap I need. And no more. Also, he's looking at me. Look. Like, I'm not clicking on him, but sometimes it just activates. I don't know what's happening there. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Oh, cool. Now we get the markers. We have a bench over here. That has to be the stagway icon. And the bedroll is a vendor? 
vendor icon, I guess. Let me let me take the stack. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, travel. Hold on, before I do that, do you say anything new to me? Okay, nothing new. It used to be full of travelers, yeah. And then things died. For some reason. Like, what the hell happened here? That's what I want to know. Travel. Let's go to the Forgotten Crossroads. I even forgot where on the map that is. Let's see. What about here? Do you have anything to say here? Yeah. The last stag. I didn't even notice that before. He is the last stag left. It was a long time ago, but I remember when these highways and crossroads pulsed with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. Those travelers are long gone, yet still I remain. Now it seems it's just you and I and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. What does furtive mean? I'm gonna check that after this. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop upon that platform. Give me the signal and we'll soon be on our way. Yeah, okay. It used to be bustling with life. But no more. I wonder who's feeding the last stag. How do you stay alive, my dude? So I'm looking at the map here. And... I'm not seeing Myla being marked. I am seeing the larva in the top left marked now. The hot spring is marked, stagway, the benches I've discovered. Quirrell is not marked either. So those are not being marked on the map. So you know what? I'm gonna write it down here. Hold on. I'm gonna write Quirrell is located under... I have, so I have a section here in my uh, notebook. It says characters, and I noted all the characters down I met, and I'm gonna ride next to Quirrell is at Black Temple. I mean, who knows, maybe they never move, but if they do, you know, it will be nice to know. And then we have Myla, she's located in the mines. Located in the mines. Nice, that has now been noted. Now I see on the map here, there's two ways to the right. Right above me here. So maybe I'll check that out really quickly. See what that's all about. So right here is a way apparently. Unless I'm... Right here should be a way. Oh, is it this way? Ah, okay, okay, I see. Ooh! Look at this guy! He has a nail too, and a shield. Oh, he's blocking. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah. Buddy, you gotta aim, uh, angle your shield upward there. That's not gonna work. Hey. I wonder if I can also just jump. Nice, okay. Nice. I like, the, I like these enemies, you know? They are simple, but satisfying to fight. So what does this sign mean? I want to try and figure that out. Box with three dots. Hmm. Oh no, not these guys. Uh, let me go here first. Are you aggressive? Not yet. Okay, I gotta be careful. I can't jump max height. I have to... Ugh. Nicely done. Uh-oh. Jump. Jump! Ah, that was a bit bit of too small a jump. That is hard to uh, time correctly there. Also, really quick. Oh! I wanna see if there's a hidden way. Nice. Uh buddy. 
Wait, I'm forgetting I can shoot spells. Oh my goodness. That is great. Get away from me. In fact, I'm gonna... <laughs> I love doing the jump attack. It is extremely satisfying. Uh, so why is my map not being filled out, actually? Oh, wait, it only happens when I rest at a bench. Oh, shit. Okay, let me go uh, down this way first. Let's see what's down here. Am I not simply going back to... Oh, no. No, I'm not. Never mind. Easy. Nothing else here. Okay. That was a nice little uh, side thing there. Hold on, was there anything else up here? I just want to quickly map out mentally here what was there and what wasn't. So, yeah, I came from the left. There's nothing here. Oh, Jesus. I came from the left. There's nothing on the right. I went down. Then I went down there on the left. Cleared that area. So now I just go keep going down. There's another one of those poles. Look, there's the sign again. Oh, this is, this is the way to deal with these. The jump attack is paramount here. So I can go to the right. Let me go to the right. Let me see what this sign is. I am intrigued. Uh. Oh. A door with an open slot. I guess I need to find a key. Wait a minute, is this a tram? Look at that! It's it's connected to the top, to, uh, to the railing. It's a tr it's a tram, or a subway, or something. Does that door look exactly like the door that I smashed in when I came to this kingdom? Can I smash it again? No. Is there a secret way down here? No. What about here? Ah, ha ha ha. I love secrets in games. Dude, I would in Dark Souls I would run around hitting every single wall. <laughs> that would be everything I did. Just hit everything. And still I would miss some. You know, it's incredible how well they hide these things. Uh okay. And the background, look at these things again. They're everywhere, man. These fossils of mollusks or something like that. Um, was there anything else? What about this? Nothing here. Okay. I guess we... Uh, wait. Maybe this way? I guess I go down. Oh... Good guy or bad guy? I guess I hit it. Oh shit, Gru's mother. Hit it! Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Ah! Ah, how do I avoid that? That's crazy. Oh, I just hit it, okay, okay. Fuck you! Ah, heal. Ah, shit, shit. Uh. God. Okay, nice. Ah. Uh. Bam. Oh, nice. 
I think I got it. Nice. I think I killed. Ugh. Uh. Nope. I knew it. I knew it. Get off here. Get away. Oh, that's nasty. I killed their mother. Hopefully that means they never spawn again. What is this place? It's like a huge hand statue right there. A Wolverine statue. Or a statue of the Wolverine's hand. What is this? It seems significant. Wait, what's that sound? Okay, that's not creepy. Oh, oh no, I can't make that jump. Look at that bench. It's huge. Looks like another shaman. You know, they have these things hanging from the ceiling, just like uh, the snail shaman. Ah, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to mark something on the map. How do I do that here? I'm clicking all the buttons. Okay, maybe I can only mark when I'm on the bench. Get away from me. Oh. Hello. Ugh. Or are you oaf? You wield your nail like a club. Oro? Esme. How much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? Who are you? I see. This old village? What a strange dream to have let me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. Wait, he was sleeping? It looked like he was drunk with that orange blood. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there. And I can thank you probably for your good deed. Wait, what good deed? What did I do? Also, I do think you have competition up there, man. Elderbog is quite the friendly guy. I like his voice. You're exploring then. Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail though. And I can tell just by looking that you know how to wield it. That's what she said. Okay, you got nothing new. Uh, all right, Sly. Uh, I guess I'll see you in Dirtmouth. Who were you dreaming about? Oro wielding his nail like a club? First thing I'm thinking of there is... The big guy that I fought that had four clubs. You know, he had three clubs on a rack and he had one in his hand. Is that who he's referring to? I forget the name of that guy. I have to look at the recording. False, false Knight? Was that the name? Or was that the name of the achievement I got? Nothing that way. I'm just looking at the background here. This is like a little village. Look, with little houses down here. Oh, wait a minute. A shortcut. Oh, wait, I, I need to find a bench. Wait, I can jump up here. Uh, wait, where am I now? I'm so confused right now. Let's not, let's not get too carried away. So I went this way before. I went down here. Okay, this is the shaman person that I could not get to. And then I found... Is he still here, I wonder? He's gone. Okay. 
Interesting. So he's probably already back at Dirtmouth. Man, this guy is sly. How did he manage to slip past me? Little bugger. Okay, so I jumped down here last time. So let me go up here. Or wait, did I come from up here and I... Or did I come from the left? Hold on. Let me go this way. No, I think I, I, I came from here. I remember this little uh, hole in the ground. And I was wondering about these ammonites in the background. Man, they're everywhere here. There's such sim symbolism with these that I cannot figure out right now. So apparently there's all these bugs down here in Hallownest, right? We're all like bugs. It's bugs life, basically. And... But then there's these... C references here of ammonites. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't those related to the sea? Fossils of mollusks or something? Unless it, it's not actually supposed to represent ammonites. Maybe it's something else. Hmm. Okay, right. This is where I was. I went to the right up here. I could not enter the... What I believe is a tram. But look, there's also a way on the very bottom there. So let me actually do that. Let me go this way. I love the effect and the sound effect of the... When you hit a sword and it bounces off things. Okay, now I'm back here. All right. Oh, shit. Get away from me. Like, okay. So, look in his eyes now. He's dead. There's no more orange glow. And Sly that I just found... He had, like, orange particles coming out of his eyes. Or, like, head or whatever. And he was dreaming. So are these things dreaming when they walk around like that? Are they in a, some sort of trance? Are they hypnotized? What is the snail shaman up to? Is he hypnotizing this kingdom? Oh shit. Oh my god. I cannot control it. Come here. Where am I going? Up. I want to find a bench so I can map out that area that I just explored. That will allow me to see if I maybe missed something there. Ouch! What happened? Hmm. I thought I killed all the little buggers. Was I here before? I don't remember this. Okay, this is the stackway. Or, I guess, the area where I can access the stackway. Get away. I'm hearing a larva. Do you hear it? Where is it? Hold on. No, it's... It's louder here. Is there a secret entrance somewhere here? It sounds like he's inside that thing. Ah! There we go! You're free, buddy! Oh, that was a cool way to hide it. The sound, you could totally hear. I don't know if you could, but in my headphones, I could totally hear... Like, I could localize where it came from. That's cool. I love that. Now, there's a bench right here, actually. Good thing I marked it on my map. There's no way I would have remembered the location of benches. I'm so glad I got that pin. Go in here. There's a bench. 
map updated. Let's check it out, huh? Ooh, cool. Yeah, I guess the little symbol with the dotted lines. That has to be the, the, the tram or the train thingy. It's going to somewhere else. Maybe a whole new map, maybe. You know? Maybe when I'm done with this map, that's where I'm supposed to go. And I can... I'm gonna find a key somewhere and I can unlock it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, cool. I didn't realize I could do this. Or wait, maybe I can only do this because I'm at a bench. Wait a minute, what's this? City crest. Stone slab. Bearing the crest of the Hellenist capital city. Has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. <gasps> Is this the key to the tram? How do I use it? Hold on a minute. Wait, did I not equip this? Oh, I never sat down, did I? Okay, 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 okay. I'm starting to get this now. So what if I click here? That's the same map. I'm so confused. Oh yeah, I see, uh, you see the bench on the bottom right there. That is the bench I could not get to. It even shows the little houses down there that I discovered. Similar to Dirtmouth, look, they're the same houses. How do I mark things on the map? Oh, markers. Oh. So right here, I want to make a marker. Let's say I put... Hold, okay, I'm gonna put a... Blue marker for... Places that I can't get to. There. That's what that means. Blue markers are places that I, for some reason, cannot get to. And there's also some of those somewhere over here, but I don't remember which one it was. One of these I can get past now. Because I now have that spell. And the guy guarding it is throwing those orange balls, just like the guy I defeated somewhere over here. It's even highlighted here. It says Ancestral Mound. Mound. Hmm. Change marker. Oh, okay. I can do it with triangle, but also R2 and, and, and L2. Okay. Zoom out. Inventory. Oh. Conjure a spirit that will fly forward and burn foes in its path. The spirit requires soul to be conjured. Strike enemies to get... Wait, am I launching a soul? I guess I am. Okay. Awesome. Is this the guy making these sounds? Buddy. Yeah, they pulsed with life. Everything was great. Not Nightlife was booming. I get it. You were making a killing. Different times, huh? Okay. Where do I want to go? I kind of want to go up. Oh, yeah. This is what I want to do. There's another path to the right up here. I only went to the bottom part. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But on the map here... Oh, I can, maybe I can show you. No, I can only do it on a bench. I can show you. But this is the one to the right. There's one right above me here, too. Somewhere. God, the combat feels great. So satisfying. This way. Have I been this way? Oh, what the fuck? Ah! Oh, this is scary. No, oh, I can hear it. Oh my god, it's so dark. What's that sound? Ugh, I hate that sound. 
Don't be spiders. Don't be spiders. Oh, thank God there's a door. I can't get through. I don't want to go this way. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, okay. Again. Just mental note. Here I'm going to put a marker that says cannot... I'm going to put a blue marker here as well. Essentially where I'm standing right now. Let me go up. Anyway, there's a way down here, actually. Get away, get away. One sec. If I go further down... Uh, here. Right, this is where I never went down. I haven't been here yet. Oh, I get it now. I came from the right when I explored the little town down there, but I never went this way. Uh, hold on. Oh, shit. You bastard. Come here. I never went down below me right now and to the left. There's even a little sign saying something. I wish I could read these signs. Did I not come from here? At some point? Uh, let me not use that. Let me quickly see what's here. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this area I have not explored yet. This on the left. I know I'm a little bit all over the place here, but... Uh, it's hard, man. It's very non-linear. That's for damn sure. This looks like a boss battle room. Ooh, what's that? Ghosts this way? I wonder what that symbol is. Elevator. Oh no, I cannot enter. Okay. Can I somehow jump over it? No. Okay. Also, notice. On the elevator itself, there's this symbol again up there. This sort of... Uh, insect with... Leaves around it, or legs, I don't know what it is. And then it has these three claws. I wonder what that actually is supposed to represent. It's everywhere in this kingdom. Like, let me, see, let me see if I can find one more. Here. This one is sort of similar. This one, there it is. You see? This is the same. And this one is the same too. But they're like slightly varied. Slight variations of the same theme there. Am I reading way too much into this? Or is there actual meaning behind all that? Okay. I guess I'm gonna go to the left. Up here. And I'm going to try and go to that, uh... Ouch, ouch, ouch. Go to that area where I have to use my spell to pass. Yes. So, maybe I'll even take the stack up to Dirt Mouth. In fact, I want to go to Dirt Mouth anyway. I just want to see if people have something new to say. I want to get all the lore out of this. I want to know what the hell happened here. But of course, with these games, you never get a straight answer. Which is nice, I guess. It leaves room for interpretation. Let's update the map. Let's check it out. Yeah, look. There's an elevator there. So, let me quickly, before I forget. Mark. This. Is it that one? I think it is. I'm gonna place a blue marker there. Meaning... No, was it was it up here? No, that's the mines. Isn't it? Blue marker there, meaning I cannot pass. There was a gate there. This was the area where it was all foggy and you, I, I couldn't see shit. I wish you could add actual notes to the map. You know, like text. That would be amazing. But I guess this will do for now. Uh, also, let me add another marker here. 
there. Elevator. Okay. Bing, bing. Got something new to say? No. I get it. You were young and bristling. No, I, I don't want to talk to you. Sorry. I, sometimes it activates by itself. It's a weird system. Third mouth. Okay, buddy. See you later. God, <laughs> my character is actually kind of cute, you know? Look at the way he swings his nail. It's so cute. A little cutie. Elder. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Elder. Oh, what a turn. Our shopkeeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. What about uh, Iselda and uh, Cornifer? Aren't they competition? Yeah, he said this already. I told those same travelers about the wonderful grasses that grow around the town. They didn't seem impressed. Yeah, I guess the grass in this town is not quite a match for the greenery that we saw down there. In fact, that may have been one of the only places down there that didn't look entirely barren, desolate and dilapidated. Which is interesting. Oh, look at this guy. I'm trying to look for secrets in your shop. Oh! Ah, hello! I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Really? A mask shard? This old thing? Merely a fragment of something larger. Still, maybe you can make some use of it. Not until I figure out what it's for. Oh my god, these are expensive. 900 and 500? A piece of a soul vessel. You know, those ghastly looking orb things? I don't really like the aura about it, but it's quite rare, so I'll have to charge you a high price. Hmm. A simple key. Simply, a simple key. It will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around in places you don't belong. That's weird. That's what I would like to do. Exactly. Gathering swarm. Oh, it's a charm. Gathering charm swarm. <laughs> Do you find yourself leaving a lot of geo behind as you hurry through the caverns? This charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. Oh my god. That sounds incredible. How many goddamn geo have I not lost to the depths and all those spiky traps, huh? A stalwart shell? Oh my god, this one costs 1800 Jesus. Life in Hellenes can be tough. Always taking hits and getting knocked around. This charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need to escape from a tight spot. That seems kind of useful, actually. And this one. Lunafly Lantern. What's more important? A light to guide your way? Oh, yes! Or a friend who'll stay by your side? Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion and he'll light your way through the thickest darkness. My goodness. This is exactly what I need. But then again, I still don't have a way to open that door. I'm talking about the door inside of the foggy area where I can't see shit. Or maybe it's just dark. I'm betting this will help there. Then we have a rancid egg. I don't want that. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it? I won't miss its sour odor. Bro, how about I... How about you pay me to take it off your hands? Huh? How about that? I mean... <laughs> What's the point of this? There's probably some use... You know what, actually? Hold on. Doesn't that sort of look like the thing 
that I saw down in the depths somewhere. It was like in the bottom right of my screen, I remember, and it was nasty and it had this heartbeat. You remember that? It looks a little bit like it, but then again, my memory is a little bit hazy here. I feel like saving for this one. But that one is also very tempting. What do I have on right now? Hold on. Wayward Compass and Soul Catcher. The Soul Catcher seems really nice. This one I could technically live without, but it would make life a little more difficult. Tell me about yourself, man. I see they've opened that mapping shop across the way. I suppose a little competition is healthy. Perhaps I should start to sell maps as well. Or is that a little aggressive? <laughs> All's fair in a world made of Geo. In a world made of Geo? Wait a goddamn minute. All those... Ammonites that I've seen. All the mollusks, all the fossil looking spirals. I'm starting to think, is that Geo? Is, is that why I see it everywhere? The world is just made of it. But if it's made of it, wouldn't everyone have a shit ton of Geo and... Well, economies wouldn't make sense? Like, how is capitalism gonna work if everyone can get Geo off the nearest rock? Hmm. Or maybe he's just referring to the fact that we live in a capitalist society and Geo is what makes the world turn. Pockets feeling empty? If you need some more Geo, take a trip into the ruins below. Below us and hunt around. Just take care not to fall into a haze. I won't be coming down to rescue you. You mean like you did? Is that what it was? You were in a haze? Were you drinking a bit on the job there, buddy? I mean, you were sleeping. You told me that, right? You were sleeping on the job. But he thanked me for waking him, which was a bit odd. Dude, I love this feeling of filling out the town. Okay, you got nothing new to say. That's okay. Rest. Let me look at my map and plan my next destination. I think that it's been almost an hour and I have to end this episode now and take a break. In the next one, I think I'll have to go to one of these three. I don't remember exactly which one it is, but one of them I can definitely pass now since I have that spell and the guy throwing orange goo at me won't stand a chance. So, look forward to that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, people. Have a great day, alright? Bye.